it's official. This is probably one of my longest videos that I've ever released to YouTube. That is a good thing. But welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I actually done a video upload. I mean, I did a live stream a while back, but for an actual video upload, it's been, well, since December of last year. That is a long time. But anyways, thank you guys for your patience, though. Um, now, this video is very special because today marks the day Purple Hearts comes out to Netflix. So this video is going to be a story of how I end up going on to one of the movie sets, which is live on location in Oceanside. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy Journey to Purple Hearts. Now, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a very special video. This might break the record for the longest video on my channel so far. But this was my experience while I was in Oceanside. But anyways, I decided to um, uh, get some of my own video for you guys. Um, I'm just about ready to go. I just have everything packed up. And of course, my cat is basically going to be watching over this whole place while I'm gone. <laughs> I mean, she's already sleeping right here. This is where she's going to sleep while I'm gone. Just need to clear a couple things off this desk and then we should be ready to go all right so we have about 20 minutes before the bus gets here so i'm gonna have a seat and uh get so a little bit complicated first i had to catch a trolley and get down to the south bay because i had to take care of some bank business then i had to catch an uber here to this park and ride and this might be familiar from a video i did years ago at the time of filming this video there was a large suspension that concerned Metrolink and Pacific Surfliner trains, so these were all parked here for about a month because there were some bluff collapses near San Clemente. And this did not affect coaster surfaces, which is what I was scanning my phone for, and at the time of this, Pronto had launched like half a month ago. And just like that, we're off to Oceanside. So, as I mentioned, coaster services were not affected, it was just Metrolink and Pacific Surfliner services. The only reason is because this was across the county line, and it did not affect services traveling solely within San Diego. So that's why coaster services were still running. And I certainly enjoy doing my part for the environment, and that's why I'm glad that I didn't have to be stuck in traffic for like, two and a half hours. And just like that, we made it to Oceanside, and this is where we'll be spending the next 48 hours. And now we can get into the main part of my whole experience. I just got here. I have a little bit of extra time before I have to go check into my hotel. So, I give you guys a first impressions of the beach over here. Um, I haven't been down here in about two years. Well, I was here just a couple weeks ago just to film for an IGTV series, but this is the real deal um, for this um, little mini documentary. So, um, see you guys here. So, I made it into the hotel, just checked in. So, this is just going to be a quick room tour. I'll do a full tour later on in the video, but these are just some first impressions because then I had to prepare to go to a concert. So, Let's do this. All right, just made it to my hotel. Well, well, here we go. Look at this, everybody. <clears throat> Looks so beautiful over here. And yeah, we got a nice partial view over here. And then there's, ooh, I got a view of the transit station over here as well. Uh,
power that off, shut off the music. Looks like this must be, oh, this is just decorative. A nice little couch. Uh, ooh, sliding bathroom, that's a good one. And then uh, here's a closet, so I'll need that in a minute. And yep, looks like I'll be. So I just need to put some stuff here real quickly and then have a look here. Oh, I can finally take off my mask because I'm in my room, so. Ah. But first, I gotta use the bathroom over here, and this must be it. So I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna um, get ready for a nice little afternoon on the beach. So, yeah, glad to be here. Ooh, and there's a nice little aircon. Let's power on some lights in here. And if there was a lot of jiggling around, I had a lot of stuff that day and I had to put a lot of stuff down. So I do apologize for that. But that's what happens when you're trying to carry everything in in a single trip. In this next clip, I might be saying some stuff that might be a bit out of date. So if I pause the video and make some corrections, um, you have been warned. All right, Oceanside lifeguards went off duty for the night. So you can see. And we got the beautiful twilight. All right, let me explain what happened here for just a second. Now by the time you're watching this, I think the film like already came, I don't know, but the, the film's supposed to be released in 2022. Pause the day you're watching this video. It is already out on Netflix. Resume. I mean, uh, yeah. Um, they've currently titled it called purplish hearts I think uh, maybe that might have changed since the uh, update purple hearts is the final name of the film and it was yeah, based on a novel twilight. look at that we got these beautiful clouds coming over here so um that's gonna be it for now um I'm guessing next is when I'm gonna go back up to the hotel Ooh, yep there it goes all right let's head back up to the hotel Alright, so I just went ahead and snapped a photo real quick on my Instagram. It should be coming out the day that film is released, so, um... Yeah. Alright, we are back from the festival. Day one's over. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna chill out here. I might as well give you a room. I've kept everyone waiting long enough. So, without further ado, let's get on to the room tour. Resume. Alright, so here's a little mini room tour. So you're looking right now for the, the door. Got a little light over here. There's another one. I haven't figured out how to switch that on yet. Over here is another one. I have a boom box over here that I'll finish unpacking in just a bit. Tactile light. My computer's over here as well. This is a TV. And then we also got a thermostat. I switched that off for a minute because, uh, oh, um, I'll switch it on as soon as I go to bed. In here is the bathroom. It's a pull-out door. Another light here. Now the best part is out here on the balcony. Pull it open. Oh yeah. And a train is approaching right on cue. And this is going to take forever. So I'm just going to skip all this and get to the rest of the room tour. Alright, that was totally unexpected if you ask me. Anyways, if you're looking here, you just see this is a pay lot for the beach access. And then you take sea gaze all the way down there. So there's sea gaze. And sea gaze can choose across the tracks. Um... And if you keep looking down that way, you'll be looking towards Tyson Street. And Tyson's another way onto the beach. And actually, if you follow Tyson Street all the way, you, you get to the transit center, actually. Um, uh, so we're not expecting that much more rail traffic tonight. But I'm pretty sure some of it will probably wake me up. And then I don't, I, you won't be able to see it um, on camera, but there's a couple of seats here. Um, 
and then you have a partial ocean view right here with a balcony. So zoom in on that partial ocean view right there at Seagaze. And then on the other side, I have the train tracks. So now just so you know, you won't hear any train horns through here. They just put in a quiet zone recently. So um, it's just the rumble now. I mean, the four hotels over here were being built, so that's how the quiet zone came to be, but then there's also some residential areas over here as well. Now, if you look over here, Seabird, and then the Mission Pacific is next to that, and then next to that one is Club Winham. And we got a car alarm going off. And then we have a nice little parking garage here. All right, so there is that. And that's pretty much the room tour. Whoa. And we got a coffee maker over here. Cuisinart. Cool Usually it's Keurig. Now I just need to chill here for just a bit. And um, then we'll go eat. I'm just going to get a few things done. And then um, um, enjoy some dinner. And then um, head to bed. Um, and I will pick this up tomorrow, the next day for day two. So, um, yeah, see you then. Welcome to day two. So, I was woken up by this nightmare of a test train right here. I say nightmare of a test train because it started like early on in the morning and then kept going all the way through morning and actually all the way into the mid-afternoon so that's why I call it a nightmare and that's what happens when a hotel is built near the railway tracks all right it is actually 0800 again it was woken up by a test train and looks like we'll go ahead and Go ahead and shower up, get ready, and, um, yeah. I'm now ready to go. Just need to grab a couple of things. I need that. Just grab my room key real quickly. And... See you guys after breakfast. Alright, time for day two. Uh, Hot Shell Ray was in concert, but I decided not to go to that part of it. And also, they were doing some additional shooting for um, Purple Hearts in the area that day as well. But I already went to day one. Um, this will be a good time to tell you that if you're new around here, remember to like and subscribe. Um, also, leave a comment and probably turn on that notification bell. So that way you're notified for any future video upload. And with that being said, I'm going to get back to my day. I have something sad to tell you guys about. So if you guys watch the video where I let my Instagram followers control my life for a day, then you might know that by the end of the day, um, I didn't notice it until I got back to the studio that I actually ended up getting sunburns because somebody didn't suggest sunscreen. Well, on this particular instance i brought sunscreen right. and i distinctly remember to reapply almost back but to the room the sad truth is not just everywhere so you're about to see right, the sunburn the that was the result of this particular trip and it's not a pretty one so you have been warned all right we're back And I think there's a marketplace over here as well that does like snacks and everything. I think I might go get some uh, a spare thing of a after sun because I think I forgot to pack mine with me. So I'll do that in a bit. All right, so I actually forgot to pack my after sun on this particular trip. So I had to 
getting a spare bottle at the market, but um, I actually decided to do another part of this hotel tour um, while I was at it. Now, here's a little terrace. Um, it's very spacious with some seating over here, and it overlooks the newly constructed Seabird and Mission Pacific Resorts. And there used to be views of the ocean here, but be, these resorts are in the way now. All right, it is departure day. Have one last look outside the balcony here. Now, the weather forecast today, it's going to be mostly cloudy throughout midday, which is awesome. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second. I don't know if you could tell, but it's it's kind of disappeared now, but I'm not telling you the other areas, but this is a welcome change with the clouds. Like we all regret our biggest mistakes. I'll tell you that already. Um, and one last look over here towards the waves same road I'm gonna be going down in just a second so today um, it's basically I'm just gonna try and stay in some many of the, the shady areas that usually come with the direct sunlight it's not supposed to clear out to like mid-afternoon at that time I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna have a seat in the shade until the award ceremony and then I'm gonna see Austin Mahone and play my teas in concert no footage of that unfortunately and then after that um, let's hop on the train and head home all right, just went 10.55, we got five minutes to go, so go ahead and put that there. I'm gonna take this and put this over here so that when they turn it down later, they don't trip over anything. So, um, yeah, all the bags are packed. Just need to grab my deodorant, put that in a bag, then grab my cap, tripod, and then we'll be ready to go. What's this? Oh, that I'll take with me. That's just nonsense. All right, so yeah, well, we're gonna be ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start spending a uh, mid-morning slash afternoon over on the beaches of Oceanside while I wait for the departure and the performances of Awesome and Hope and then Play My Tees. Let's go. All right, last day, everybody. Oh. There's another one. Anyways, what I was gonna say is start of seven long hours here and then homeward. Hopefully I don't get any cloud burns either. Okay, I, I know I had I know there was not it was a night Carly reference, but please make sure. Okay. So yeah. It's a bit busy, but yeah. Really good so far. Day three was the day of the Supergirl Surf Bro finals. And, um, and I'm pleased to tell you that Caroline Marks was... Um, the winner of the 2021 edition of Supergirl Surf Pro. Now, the 2022 edition will be held on the last weekend prior to the fall equinox, which will be in mid-September, just like 2021. I don't know if you guys heard all the commotion, but the very last concert just went on, got all my stuff. Let's head over to the transit center. I have a different plan tonight. We're, let's hop on a sprinter to Escondido to wrap things up. Because I haven't been there in a while and um, it's going to be a nice sunset on the way over. Alright, let's go. Anyways, I know a little shortcut into the station right here. This is really an emergency evacuation path, but people use it as a shortcut as, a shortcut as well. And that was the hotel I stayed at. So, it should be about a couple more m minutes before I get to the sprinter platforms 
So right now it looks like we have a couple minutes to do a couple things and get onto the platform so that we can catch this train. Again, it's a sprinter. Let's do some pronto action and the number codes that you might hear are just for the numeric keypad just in case Five anybody fares. couldn't see Press the touch zero. screen. You selected. Tap card below. Reload press zero one. You selected. Please insert cash. Amount due. Forty dollar. You selected. Please insert By fares. Press zero one. Or. Tap card below. Languages English press zero three. Alright, so here we go. Let's tap it. All right, we're on our way home. The train that we're taking, it is, um, it's a sprinter service. Um, well, they brand it as a sprinter, but the trains themselves are actually part of the Desiro family from Siemens. If they look familiar, they probably are. They are kind of the same ones you can find in Romania and Denmark, for example. There we are. Perfect. He has a luggage rack up here, so I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put these up there. And we're safe and sound. We're just waiting for the train to leave. I can take his head off now. And we're currently waiting on... Does it say 2002? Hold on a second. I need to... Yes, wow. you heard right. That display says cool. 2002. I mean, this was recorded in 2021. And uh, I don't think I've ever taken this particular service during the night, so that was a new experience. So I mainly film these types of videos during the day, but I'm actually considering splitting content up between two channels. I'll have to explain that in another video, though. About half an hour after leaving Oceanside, we pull into Vista Transit Center, which is what this is supposed to be. So it, there is a little bit of circle-ish rings over here. That's because there was an advertisement on this particular coach, so... Um, I do apologize if it was a little obstructed, but after leaving Vista, we pass through the Vista Village, and also looking in that direction should be the Vista Wave Water Park, which is home to the Vista Panthers, which is um, a water polo team that is based in the area. And about half an hour after that, um, I do get into Escondido Transit Center. And I would be catching another rapid bus to get back to the studio. And I only got about like five seconds of that. And here right, is let's that. Go on the rapid now. So I actually have some photographs from this particular in a, during the day. But as I mentioned, I am planning to split the content up into two channels. I will be explaining this in the very next video. Um, on this channel, after that, I will then be doing. Um, some studio upgrades, time lapse, I will be putting that up. And then I'll also be putting up the Wango Tango video on this particular channel. But again, I do have a second channel that is launching soon, and I will be explaining content on that channel in the very next video. Um, that should be going up at the start of August. But with that being said, though, um, that does wrap up today's video. Again, thank you guys so much for your patience and. Yeah, there's nothing more to this trip because um, um, I already ran out of memory card footage and plus we were getting closer to the back to the studio anyway. So what's the point of continuing the video footage here? So with that said, though, let's go right into the outro. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm literally going to be watching the film sometime later and if I end up seeing myself in that film I am literally going to brag about that on all my other socials TikTok Instagram etc so um, I'm gonna be watching that film 
Right, so if there's any updates to come, I will let you know about that. But I thought I'd just share the story of how I ended up getting onto that set as well as my little experience at Supergirl Surf Pro. Um, now, the next video I have is going to be for Wango Tango um, this past year. I decided to flip-flop the order, so I'm doing this one first and then I'm doing Wango Tango because um, I filmed this back in September and I wanted to wait until after um, the film got a release date so that way I can create this video and put it up um, in time for the film's release. But with that being said, though, I do want to thank everybody for their patience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am back on YouTube, so I am very well alive, given the extended pause. Um, so I do have some more videos to come, but this um, took me a long time to do. So with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Like comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you're new and we'll see you guys in the next video and as always adios